Sage on here with another Grey Goo replay. Spawning the right right top side, we have Tukon. Spawning the bottom side, bottom left side, but now in the center, we have Blue Drives Monster. Tukon went immediately for an, a hangar to get out those early monitors to spot the aircraft on the spot the Goo's on the high ground, which allows his uh commandos to get some pokes, which actually does some pretty good damage because it prevented him from building a small protein just now. So he has actually, tr now he can actually build a small protein, splits it off, and now he can actually deal with these commandos. Turns to the drawers, turns some drawers early to get the, get the health regen more quickly. Another small protein coming up, and he will have a grand total of 8 drovers. Currently the commandos are running away, he knows that there's going to be some small proteins on the along the way, so he pulls them back before he uh, gets, loses them. Looks like there's a bit of an animation glitch. He sold off the airfield, or the hangar, and now he's building a factory, which there's a graphical glitch of where the hangar is just still there. Looks like we're getting, these drovers might come out for some harassment. There's still a monitor uh, buzzing around, spawning the mother goose, giving all that valuable intelligence. And now we have Plus, it looks like he's kept the, fake, the original scouting drover. So he has nine drovers ready to attack versus ten marines. Not marines, commandos. They have, they're nice spread out. They prevent the splash damage in total. And the drovers did quite a bit of damage for the number of them. Apparently, the beater faction's uh, extractors does not have any armor compared to the human player's extractors. So they actually did quite a bit of damage. They did true damage and not the armor, uh, not like the one damage the human. Human buildings have about six armor, so drovers will only be able to do one damage. Got two commandos going up here. What does Tukan see? He sees those drovers now. He has a lot of commandos, nice spread out. The drovers will lose out. They just bear no. That guy still is alive. Though he's got these units actually quite balled up. Look, now they're all being splashed down. And that's the po power of the drover. They take out individual units quite readily. And now they're going to run away because they cannot deal with the rest. Managed to take out one more before before losing them. Player all. And he lost uh, he lost six drovers to uh some of the commandos, some of the commandos have some damage, but overall it probably favored the beater player. Currently the beater player has six refineries up compared to the uh, four mother goose. Looks like going for additional factories. Nope, looks like going to get some predators in this one. Another animation glitch. There's apparently there's a stealthed mother goo right sitting with. That is a animation glitch. It is this one, due to the fact that it turned stealthed, well, hidden in bush when it went through that bush. So it looks like we have hit two animation glitch. Now it's one away. And this game continues on. Apparently no aggression from either side. Actually, no. Scratch that. There's attempted aggression by the beater player. And we've got another extractor. So the so there'll be uh, four refineries to uh, currently five Mother Goo. Got a Radiant Scout out. Nice good vision. Can able to put in, put in a couple bushes instead of having small proteins for scouts. Because it's one small... Once again, this Mother Goo leaves behind. I think it took a sh crap on the front lawn. These commandos going to get some nice damage on it. Though he has to be careful not to go in that bush. He could send in one in the bush. Looks like, once again, another anim uh, graphical glitch. Turns makes a small protein, gets uh, some drovers out. Get some drovers calling back, which this little scouting force is pretty cheap for the beater player. 
and it's preventing any aggression to him. As I stated before, if you're going to face against a group player, you need to be aggressive. Actually, in any RTS, you should always be aggressive. Now we got an another Mother Goo had a quite a bit of health, now lost its second, unable to turn to another Mother Goo due to the fact that it took that additional damage. And now these drovers, nice split. He's splitting them very nicely to make them live as long as they can. But there's just way too many drovers for him to deal, deal with. Extremely nice split made his commando force that was going to die as deal as much damage as possible And even with those three sm Commandos he was able to snipe a small protein. That's critical. That was a lot of damage for those three commandos So he lost one. He basically took out four drovers with it And saved those two Now we got another commando harassment force heading up north There's nothing up there except for a radiant scout which, uh eh, he probably wasn't f paying attention. Oh! Yep, it's gonna be taken out. Oh well, it's a scout. It's expendable. Another Radiant Scout here. And he's gonna lose this one also. Got the Drover Radiant Force with a couple... Well, a couple Radiants with uh, Striders. Coming in to uh, perhaps deal with this uh, attacking force here. But there's another attacking force here. This is how you face against a Goo player. They have, they like to, they can't deal with multiple attacks as easily as other factions. Because their Mother Goose are too far spread out for them to deal with all these attacks. Looks like a nice Drover ambush force going to take out all of these commandos quite easily. And now got a couple strides to deal with the uh, Predator. And this Mother Goose going to come in. He probably should have kept this Mother Goose hidden. To prevent the fact that, oh, now he knows it's going to be a Mother Goo here or here. Oh, there's apparently there's engagement in the middle, and that attacking force was taken out. Now, here's the problem. All those attacking force are dying quite fast and not doing as much damage as possible. Which means, he now, the Goo player has a larger force. There's 17 commandos, well, 27 commandos and 9 predators. Versus 21 drovers, so he has more... But more centered infantry. Then there's also nine striders, which can take out. Th actually, I would actually say the beater player actually does have a stronger force. I just realized I could just look at the population. He does have a larger force. Commando detonation upgrade. Now this is the counter the mass drover for commandos. Oh, you're coming in close. I'm just going to explode myself on top of you. Basically. However, there is a lot of Mother Goose out, a grand total of 10, compared to the, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 refinery of the beater player. So currently his economy is outmatched 2 to 1. This may present a problem. If the Goo player can just hold out just a little bit longer, he will have a critical mass of units. Getting a couple artillery pieces, that's very, very nice. Artillery pieces will rip apart these commandos. Though this artillery piece has taken severe round damage by those predators. Crescents do damage. Two crescent shots will take out a group of commandos. This group of commandos here, oh, they move out the range of the, the, ex the corrosive pool. Couple of uh, destructors on flank. This force was just outnumbered and outflanked. This was a very nice engagement for the Goo player. More lar another large protein. Perhaps we may see into a Bastion. Perhaps we could see into more Destructors. Destructors are a good bet due to the fact that he lost a lot of his ground for us. He's also currently at 31 population compared to the beater player's 780 population. He currently has a... If he, he's also constantly expanding, which is very nice. He could, well, he could go for a hand of rock and end the game quick. Will end the game in the long term, not exactly very quickly. We got another glitched out uh, mother goo. There's a lot of glitched out mother goos this game. It might be due to the fact of this color. Oh, oh, that was a bit bad because he took out. Wait, the small proteins would. The other one was taken out, I think, by the commandos exploding. <sighs> Oh, 
which is sort of funny. Yeah, that's why the small there was another that small protein came out, which also made it cause, which that caused that to die. The other one got killed by the exploding commandos. That's why there was no other small protein. Now that's pretty funny. And the uh, predators, another harassment force. Currently, this force can't handle that harassment force, but it's keeping the goo player in his base, causing him to build more and more units to protect himself. He's now being forced to play, play defensively when he needs to be on the offense. Other mother goos are being forced to stay in the high ground, not refining. Another animation glitch. This replay is just filled with animation glitches. Another Mother Goo dies. These some nice plays to deal with the Mother Goose. We're getting some nice artillery. All these commandos are now dead. Except for a couple. Interesting. All the devoured uh, units went to a... Uh, Went to a nearby mother goo. That's pretty interesting. <clears throat> this mother goo being harassed it prevented from it to split off another mother goo. He's trying to engage. It probably will die. Yep. One last burst, good. Get a nice, no, nice amount of damage, but not really that effective. He has a good-sized force, but he can't protect all of his outlying mother goos. He's current. The human, the beater player, is currently just going around destroying the outside units. But a nice snipe on a refinery. That's actually quite damaging. Destroy. He destroyed my mother goos. I destroy your economy also. Got some artillery out to deal with the monitors, to prevent the spotting the mother goose on the high ground. Currently, though, he's they're still regenerating ammo. Got another commando force coming out, but they're facing destructors. Destructors are very resilient to commandos, but we got a huge force of predators. We also have the balance upgrade, so those destructors are do quite a bit of damage. And we've got some striders slowly being I think he's moving them down here. He could place this crescent up here and then get some free uh, artillery range. Got this commando force, probably cleaned up another mother goo or two. Not commando force, predator force. That was actually the com now I think about it, that was actually the predator force from down here. This goo player is being contained into the center of the map. We're sure there's a lot of refining locations for him, but not enough for him to live. This mother goo might be taken out. Sustaining heavy amount of damage. Look at that. Four drovers, he should have kept that mother goo's health. Four drovers which is sent to die. Predators are move and shooting, kiting this entire force. It's sort of like the Devourer tanks back in Command and Conquer. Reverse move. Keep out of range. Now the Predators are slowly engaging. The Structors do have more health than the Predators, so little by a little bit, but they do a little bit less damage. However, the Predators do shots are in fours, so they do 10 damage each and have, oh, they have 6 penetration, so the armor is negligible. There goes one Mother Goo. A nice artillery hits. The Mother Goo is now severely damaged. Mother Goo almost died, though it's regaining, has a lot of resources to find due to the fact that all the artillery devoured the units and gave it to basically resources to the Mother Goose. We got a bunch of small proteins now. I think it's this color, the purplish color, that causes the uh, animation glitches. It seems like whenever the purple color comes along, 
these animation glitches happen. Another snipe on a couple small proteins. Very, very nice. His mother goose are now off the line. He's not harvesting anymore. This is pretty much the end of the line for Blue Jive's monster. He does have a he does have a significant force on the field, but not enough to tend with the beater faction. Is he going to uh, do an all-in attack? He's I think he's trying to find from this location, but there's no catalyst left. Left. Yeah, it looks like this might be an all-in. Okay, some nice repairs with this artillery units, but still being overwhelmed by the uh, kiting predator force. Yes, he thought there was a finding locations here, but there is no catalyst left. Another mother boo gained some nice damage on it. This kiting force is doing quite well. Half of the beater player's army is on the other side of the map, which is a severe problem for him. Now, but once they come back, it's a nice flanking force. Focus on the small hub, try and remove that production from the reinforcements. Got to snipe on one. Lost some other goo, if, by the way. Nice snipe on another small hub. He's dealt quite a bit of production based damage. Now it's time for him to get out, looks like. He's losing a lot of his mother goose. Another wave artillery. The commandos will die. The predators will take severe damage. Destructors are trying to engage. They have, with a bounce shot, they're doing nice damage to the group. A nice wave. If they want to move forward, they're going to run straight into the corrosive pool, which they did. This predator is dead by a large protein. We now we've got the uh... Now he's starting to fall back. The large protein probably should turn into a unit because it's probably a bit faster to run away. Monitor is going out, constantly scouting, pro, constant, basically just in general, constant scouting. As you can see, he sees two mother goos he can take out. The the goo player doesn't have much left. Both sides lost most of their army. He's trying to rebuild some small hubs, but I think he's missing. This extract refinery does not have an extractor to go along with it, so it's not refining. Neither is this one. He is a bit. He needs to replace those immediately. Doesn't matter where, just as long as he gets some resources. Not here, because it's running low on catalyst, and definitely not here. Is running also running low. Perhaps down here, and perhaps here, but there's currently an enemy force there. So both people are a bit running dry on their economy. Got a bit of a hit for us, probably more and more commandos. Which that commandos like. Cannonball doing some nice economic damage. These four drovers are now going to engage, going to walk straight through the Mother Goo. Mother Goo is trying to stay away from this uh, predators. They can do quite a bit of damage. He plays a small hub here, but once again, he has idle refineries. He could place here and here, get some resources. Perhaps take out these uh, that plug for more resources. Pred these predators are being taken out, was flanked, and now overwhelmed. The replay has slowed down quite a bit. Both sides are trying to re-establish their economy. Got a nice extractor over here. More, like I said, extractor here and here. Middle Callus Field still has quite a bit to it. We got a pretty good sized Mother Goo right here. Perhaps he's. Proto Purger would not be a good idea anytime soon.
once again, these commandos, just two commandos, shooting a mother goo is really just annoying him. And look at that, the detonation of, uh, detonation did go off, dealing some even additional damage to the mother goo. Now we got some nice uh, amount of destructors here, wiping out those commandos quite rarely. Lost two destructors to about a couple predators and a good size amount of commandos. Got another attacking force here trying to prevent any of the mother goos from harvesting from any location. This finding has not been reestablished, however, this one has. As you can see, both people's units are all across the map, but overall, the beta player is a much better advantage. Currently, the goo player is just trying to re macro up with his economy with all the mother goos. But there's just so many strike forces out, it's just slowing him down, it's way too much. Again, eating commandos just causes them to blow up. I don't think you realize this detonation upgrade has been uh, purchased, because the animation is quite small and quite unnoticeable. Air Cancer upgrade? Does that? Can that shoot down artillery units? I'm not sure. If it does, that would be quite nice. We have to keep an eye on that. Pros of heal, Radiance cannot target self, Radiance gain stealth, and first healing those repairs nearby structures and units. Sounds like another mother goo got taken out somewhere. Perhaps right here. Cows plug still have full health, so not right there. Or to the uh, anti aircraft needs to get on top of the mountain. Perhaps it was down here. Once again, another animation glitch. And this time a monitor's out, but it's getting taken out by the Tempest. A nice engagement by the beta player. Let's see if these commandos can target the air, the shots of the crescents. If the guy doesn't realize it's this, he probably doesn't realize it's a pool of damage, like a base like incendiary. More commandos passing a small protein. And the goo player is trying to con consolidate his force. He does have a couple dwellers. He, apparently the dwellers have to be stealth since he does not have the move and stealth upgrade. Got a good sized force. A lot of commandos there. And oh look, there's a big engagement. Will this mother goop taken out? No, but will this one? This one's taking severe amount of damage. He's splitting up his fours, one chase down one, one chase down the other. This one's now dead. This one is soon to be dead. 300 health is not a lot. These dwellers are now, one of them was taken out when in moving. Stealth, once it initiates the hunker down animation, the uh, planting itself. Overall, that's a pretty good snipe on the Mother Goo. Some, I think both of those had probably quite a bit of resources with it also. Some more small proteins. 
Regarding the mother group numbers are quite low, I would say make the economy down to negative one or two, unless you want to have that additional spending economy, like spending money. It all depends on the guess of the place out of the player. But plus 15 is a bit bad. Perhaps uh, wave units just came out. That's why it's a bit slow. Do we see any? Uh, still not even a medium hub. So it looks like we will not see any Hand of Rock anytime soon. Perhaps this one will turn into a Proto Purger, I'm not sure. And here we see this massive force trying to move in. These Predators are trying to get to cover, this entire army is trying to get into the cover of the brush. Taking out one the anti-air, which is not very important. This Dweller could change everything. It was focused out down before it could detonate. So if that dweller could have wiped out this entire force if it was if it had a stealth upgrade. And that's a nice cleanup. Let's see. I didn't see any splashes from the crescents. Did the commandos take them out? I was not paying attention. He could move and shoot then, but Place a crescent up here, that would be a best good option, or even right there. Yeah, right here would be a good option. But can the commando shoot down those projectiles? I still don't know. Let's find out. Looks like a fire. Yeah, they can shoot down the projectiles. That's That makes it so their standard infantry are incredibly effective, even against artillery, which artillery was the counter for his mass commando. Commandos with upgrades can counter their own counters, basically. Looks like we got a stealth seeker. Seekers are always stealth, though they can research the upgrade to make everything else stealth around it. Which can be a bit effective, but they're too a bit fragile for that to work out. One commando doing still more and more economic damage just by shooting this mother goo. Though it can't really out DPS its rate of its and finding. And Blue Shy's Monsters throws in the tower. This was a very nice replay. Just shows that the a goo faction, I know Blue Shy's Monster is a very good goo player. This just shows the goo faction can be dealt with, can be won against. And mostly in 1v1 maps. In 2v2 maps, not so much. This is Lord Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.